Hello, this is Alligo City 5 and today, um, right now, this is going to be like part 3 of the video because I can't put it all in one, I guess. But um, we're going to talk about how you break some people and why. There are, uh, <clears throat> why a lot of the educations, a lot of ed education in the bigger cities fail. So let's get down to it because I don't know how much memory I have on my phone. Alright, let's go from school. Like, this is how you break, this is how you break a person. Let's go, actually, let's start at the home. Uh, most black families are single parent families and so on and so on because a father is most likely been incarcerated and a mom some type of ghetto flower. If you don't know what that is, go to Urban Dictionary. Anyway, the way this starts off is that you destroy the home. You take the male and incarcerate them. Most black males that are incarcerated are mostly innocent. Oh, well, not mostly. They are innocent. Most black males that are in the prison system are innocent, but they don't care about that. They want to meet a quota, and I'll get to that in a minute. But you destroy the home. You separate the... You get rid of the male influence. So now you're left with the mother. Now the mother has to deal with this thing of what we call self-beauty. Remember, I was talking in my first video about self-respect. We live in a society where it's superiorly superficial, where people will judge you based off of the way you look. And if you're running around with your natural hair... Like this, this is, none of this is shampooed or anything. <laughs> well, I probably need to shampoo it. But none of this is straightened out or nothing. This is how a hair naturally is. And most black black females don't like their natural look, so they buy these extensions, they buy the, these blonde braids, they dye their hair, they try to straighten their hair out to make themselves look like European Americans as much as possible. They're not happy with themselves. And because all the commercials defy beauty as some some elegant white lady or so on and so forth when beauty's in the eye of the beholder so now you got a so now you got a mother that's trying to raise a family that isn't even confident within herself while the husband's probably somewhere rotten in prison for a crime he never even committed but they don't care about that because like i said i'll get to that in a minute so you destroy the home by doing that there's no structure in the house the mother if responsible has to work twice if not three times as hard to try to raise those kids the right way so let's say the kid comes out. The kid comes off, uh, uh, kid come, or the kid children come out on top, and you know from a broken home. Then from there we gotta start. They'll try to destroy the education. Education. So in like this neighborhood I'm in, they got these piss poor schools that are public schools, and now um, they'll complain about the graduation rate. But people don't realize that it is shitty to be a teacher in this country. I don't know why someone will want to be a teacher here and especially in the united states in this time and age in this day and age because teachers have the shittiest job you have to sit there and babysit someone's disrespect for a little brat because the parents aren't doing a good job because they're probably working like two jobs just to make ends meet because it's a single parent family and they gotta sit there and take these this these kids shit now i'm gonna i'm just gonna let you know kids these these kids no they're, they're, they're ignorant they're they're ill-informed, but they're kids, so they're supposed to be. They're not going to have the same mindset or maturity as us because that comes with age and that comes with time. Well, age and time, same thing. So these te these teachers, they don't want to go through the problem of uh, trying to have these kids do the right things, testing them and so on and so forth, because these teachers are stressed out too. And these teachers' jobs depend on the performance of their students. Now, I'm going to get back to that. So... We'll take the, uh, so what happens is they'll take, the, they'll take the students and pass them. And the reason they'll pass them is because their job depends on it. There was a huge scandal where some teachers got caught passing some students and cheating on the testing. But a lot of people don't know what led to that. Well, I can tell you what led to that. What things are, where the way things are going, where a lot of public schools are taking the fundings out of public school and funneling it into private schools so that people don't have up-to-date textbooks, they don't have up-to-date computers, they don't have good equipment, they don't have good cafeteria food. It's not a healthy living, it's not a healthy working environment, especially if you're a teacher dealing with that every single day, only except, probably except for the weekends. It makes it stressful to teach. It makes it extremely stressful to teach. And people just don't see that. So, you take that and I mean, if you were in their position, what would you do? Of course you cheat. You want to keep your job, right? Your job relies on the performance of your students. And the stacks are, the, the, uh, stacks are already against you. You're working with lack of funding. You're working with poor facilities. You're working with ignorant-ass kids. And not to mention, 
the private schools are getting all the well like I said all your funds are going to private schools so you see where that see how that works out so let's just say the kid comes out the kid comes out on top of the education the kid you know made it you know good old Danny Jaquita whatever they made it then you got to deal with the workforce workforce isn't any easier say you want to become a black owned business uh, we'll start a corner store I'm trying to start airsoft myself but say you're trying to do that and then what what they'll do is people that are going there they'll just want to shut you down they do not want you to succeed if you do not believe me look up black Wall Street they don't want you to succeed the system is plan is is always against you, no matter what. And there were a lot of people like, "Well, no, the system works just fine for me. If any black, oh, I can do it. And I'm white, a black person can do it too." No, no, that is not the case. That's not the case in this country. No, it's not, because it's 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 just really, really hard to explain it. I'm trying to find words for it before I run out of memory, but I'll probably explain it in the next video.